Hey everybody, I wanted to go over some of these precision screwdriver sets I had uh, with y'all and give my thoughts on them. I guess we'll start off with this Pittsburgh set. It's like a 32 piece set from Harbor Freight. Um, decent quality case, not the best, but not the worst. Here's some tweezers. Let me show you those first. They're not perfect, they don't really line up too good, but it's something I can probably fix myself. Uh, it's got a good variety of Torx bits, some hex bits, you got spanner, trilobe. Um, the screwdriver has a little retention spring in there to hold all the bits in place. So it's non, non magnetic, but it holds them in there pretty good. Feels comfortable, spins around. Um, overall, a decent little set. Um, I've been using it on my knives and ratchets and watches and whatever small electronics I have around the house I want to mess with. But a decent set, decent quality. It was missing a few bits that I wanted to have. I wanted to have some security Torx bits. And so I decided to head over to Amazon Warehouse where I picked up this one. I'm not going to leave a link to this one. Um, I'm not going to even mention the brand name. It, it, it just is not good. Uh, first off, all the, the layout's horrible. <laughs> the organization's horrible. That's fine. But they got, you know, security torque bit up here, come down here. They have the torques, torques. Just the layout's awful. Um, the bits, some fit really well, some don't. Actually, I should pull this out. Some of them, they fit my Harbor Freight screwdriver. But uh, right, right, right next over, that one doesn't. That one doesn't. They don't even fit inside themselves very well. So the, where is it? That is. And the 4.0, 4, 4 millimeter does not fit. It's very wobbly. But, um, let's see what else do I have. 2.5, we'll try that. 2.5 is pretty tight. I'm going to put in the right one. <laughs> if it's, it's very tight. So these are very inconsistent bits. Kind of sloppy looking chrome on them. But that's something I can live with. As long as they'll fit in the actual slot. So I'm, that's, that might be a question. Um, it was supposed to come with a magnetic mat. I'll leave it right there. And a little cloth, but I got it on Amazon Warehouse. It was, you know, half off pretty much. So I'm not, I wasn't worried about that. And then the screwdriver bit, the extension, was curved about 45 degrees. So what I had to do is get the bit, pop it in there. It's magnetic, by the way. And then put it in a vise. And then close the vise, turn it, close the vise, turn it, close the vise, turn it, until it was pretty much straight. But I I roughed it up pretty bad. And one thing that sucks though. Well, let's show you that first. It's telescopic, feels pretty secure. But the bits, well, one thing you gotta worry about, I don't let's see if I can. Okay, well they don't fall down as easily. Oh yeah, I guess they do. But can I get them out? There. They don't, they aren't very secure inside of it though. I can't lock it. This won't lock onto the bit. I can pull the bit out. You got this extension, same thing. It even has a little groove for it. Push it all the way, it doesn't stay in there. So you have to have that extension on there. So that's why I had to fix it. But so it does have some good qualities to it. The magnetizer works, worked well. It has this really cool quarter inch bit adapter so you can put your four, four millimeter bits on the you know, your quarter inch whatever you have bit driver ratchet um so that was kind of cool tweezers really suck oh I can, it's kind of hard to show you that yeah they, they suck they're not they're not lined up properly so not a great kit if you're in a pinch and you need something on the set the set and, and you can't afford something else, and I guess get it, get one of the cheapo ones on Amazon, but read the reviews and make sure it's a company you can re you know, return it to if not through Amazon. Um, but so I need to re replace this. So I tried looking at Amazon Warehouse again. I didn't learn my, my lesson. I got this iWork kit. And it's what? I don't know. How many pieces is it? 23 piece kit, it cost 866. Um, on the warehouse though, it cost me four. And 
only thing that was really wrong with it, it had a crack here and then some kind of oily crap on the bottom. Case felt okay though. The at least the bottom did. It has a little place you can hang it up. Uh, the bits, I don't know, they feel kind of sloppy too. A bit more like poorly machined. Um, just to show you, they don't fit in my Harbor Freight one. I, just, I tried them all like that. Oh, that one does. Kind of. <laughs> that one's wrong. So some of them fit, some of them don't. Just like before, so quality is not the best. But let me get to the business. It has a telescoping thing, just like that one, but no slots or anything. Because the, the driver itself just squeezes the plastic together. It's a twist on. So this isn't going to hold up over time, which kind of sucked, but um, you can put the bits in there. They'll fall in just like that. <laughs> if you're not careful, they do come out easy. I did try it, but um, you can get them in there. And, oh, I'm going to stop showing you that part and get to the business. And, but you get the telescoping part, tighten it up wherever you want to have it, and you put the bit in. And it falls out. And every bit that you put in there falls out because the retention spring in there is missing. And I checked some of the reviews on Amazon, and there was a lot of complaints that of the exact same thing, how the bits wouldn't even stay in it. And they just said it was a piece of junk. And it was so bad that I work um, or Olympia, they quit selling this. They discontinued this. Um, but I did write them a letter. Which I think that's really shitty that companies are still allowing this to be sold. Like there's still sellers selling this one. They can, they can fuck off. <laughs> but they said they send me a. They have a, a comparable in price uh, ratcheting screwdriver, a uh, quarter inch in size. So not what I needed. But um, they send that over and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So this is what I got. <laughs> that's how it came. Or maybe a little more spread out throughout the bag but um I, I thought it was funny so I, I took a picture and I sent an email to them and they told me they'd replace this but I, I everything's there nothing's broken so like screw it they can just they don't have to worry about it and not the best ratchet ratcheting screwdriver but it'll work it has storage in the back for like two bits uh but I can use it if I find it in a piece. I'm going to use that I lost it. I hope I use that quarter inch adapter from the from the other set. I can get that to work. But I lost it, so I guess not. <laughs> so, but yeah, theoretically I could use it if I had the piece for it. Here it is. So, I can still use the bits. Because at least that's magnetic. Um... But I wanted to find a piece that has security torques that at least had a decent size. I mean, they were decent quality in their sizes. I didn't have to worry about variations or anything like that. And that wasn't terribly expensive. And I, a few of my options were like Klein or Tekton. In. Um, but I heard a lot of really good things about iFixit. So I figured I'd give that fair, uh, fair kid a try. It's like a 16 piece set. Cost 15 bucks. Um, seem kind of pricey for for what you get, especially when since the Harbor Freight one costs eight, and very uh, similar in quality, I think at least in the bits. But uh, the case was awesome, a nice little foam case. Has all the everything labeled on there as well as on the bits. Kind of hard for me to see there because I'm old. And the top part of the case is magnetic. So. I'll we'll make these little metal rods or metal inserts magnetic. So if you have a metal counter countertop, it'll it'll hold on pretty good. But um, really decent set. I really like the way the way the, the screwdriver feels. It feels like a like aluminum magnetic insert, so they'll they'll hold in real well. Uh, your handle spins, but it pops off. So you can fit at least have one more bit in there. Um, I'd probably I put extra screws in there or something in there and then the top has the little sim card eject tool so very cool um the harbor freight bits fit 
and vice versa. So these fit in the Harbor Freight one. So the sizes are really consistent. That's what I like about that. Um, and I can use the, the, the crappy bits from the iWork set. They fit in there. Or from the even crappier XY GDTT set, they, they'll work in there. So I really like that a lot. Um, I still think originally I probably would have just gone with the Harbor Freight and then gotten something like this. I think, you know, it's a, a little decent a variety. You got the Torx bits. Um, I think I'd want to just skip all the hassle though, maybe get something like this, but for my works, it's going to cost you like 60 bucks, but I think in the end, probably worth it if you're going to be using a lot of these pieces. If not, and if you just need it for one day, then maybe get something small like this or like that. It sucks though. And it's probably going to cause you more, more hassle than not. So I definitely recommend the Pittsburgh or the iFixit. iFixit's awesome. Um, I, I, I hope they, you know, I would like to find more deals on Amazon, maybe through their warehouse on uh, iFixit, or maybe I can get them to sponsor a video or something. That'd be kind of cool. But no, that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching.